I have been thinking about this uh, uh, in the last few months as we do our strategy work. Uh, uh, and the reputation of uh, actuaries uh, from IFOA is high uh, here and abroad. So we have been thinking, what does it mean? And why is the re reputation good? Yeah? So if you think about it, uh, actuaries are people who have a set of core skills uh, in mathematics and statistics and they apply it to uh, the work they do in institutions. But that doesn't uh, uh, give us the reputation of becoming uh, a great professional. But there are two things at work uh, and, are, and I'll call that, that is the core of our training, our core skills and we apply it in insurance company, pension schemes and wider fields. But there are two pillars. Uh, which help us to build this foundation, uh, which is rest on this foundation, which gives us the, the house of, of the reputation. And the first pillar, uh, and when you talk to people in various other professions and, and business leaders, employers, they say that actuaries do have a sense of professionalism uh, and ethics. Uh, and that is relevant when we speak to statisticians or, or data scientists. Uh, and the people who run projects which, uh, which involve them, why do they add actuaries in the midst? They say that somehow actuaries has a sense of professionalism uh, and a sense of governance and, and approach involving data and about doing the right things. And that is, that is great news for the profession. And, and the way I think about it, uh, it, it goes back to our actuaries quote yeah, uh, and our commitment to it. Uh, uh, in terms of as an idea, but also in terms of the way we practice it. Uh, and the code talks about impartiality, talks about compliance, talks about integrity, talks about communication, talks about competence and care, and the last one was about speaking up. Uh, and, and sometimes it is impossible to apply, apply it uh, in a black and white way because contexts are different. In culture, certain cultures, speaking up is not the thing to do. And when you talk about compliance, to what degree do you do compliance? And, and the way we frame it is that um, uh, the, the actual reputation is really like a bank account. Um, it, it grows uh, if you put a credit. And if you do a mistake or you, if you are, um, uh, if you are uh, not diligent uh, or you make a mistake, it's, it, it's a debit. Yeah? But over time, our obligation is to add to that fund, to make sure the account grows. Yeah? So over time, uh, our reputation will grow and that will be a credit to ourselves, to our employer and, and to the IFOA. So, so our obligations as actuaries is to make sure that our behaviour and our actions uh, will create a positive contribution day after day. But, but it doesn't mean that we can be perfect. Yeah? But the most important thing is that we learn from our mistakes and, and, and be Learn from mistakes and add to the fund. So I, I see that pillar and the, and the ethical code, which we are very explicit about it, uh, a, as a great uh, uh, strength for the profession. And the second pillar, which I think adds to our reputation uh, as a professional, actually, uh, beyond that of a mathematician or, or a statistician, is our ability to have uh, business sense and commercial awareness. Uh, because we, we, all of us, join the profession because we love mathematics or we are good in numbers. But we, want, but we were more than mathematics because we want to do something practical, whether it's in insurance or pension scheme. So I think on these two pillars, uh, which is our heritage from the past, we need to nurture and keep. Because whatever we do with our core skills and where we work, these two pillars will define us uh, as a professional actuary. Uh, actuary is not someone who only works at an insurance company, it's not. An actuary is a person who, who, who uses data, who manages data, structured and unstructured, deal with risks and uncertainty, really to optimise the future. So I think that captures to me what is a modern uh, professional actuary.